is a haven for orphans and underprivileged children. However, with inadequate facilities, their smooth running becomes difficult. The chief executive of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, Mrs. Elizabeth Saki, is therefore appealing for support from governments and other donor agencies for orphanages. Her plea is for more infrastructural facilities and medical incentives. She says this will help to clear the menace of street children and beggars from the streets. Her plea was at the inaugural launch of an orphanage in Accra, Divine Privilege Home. There are hordes of children in Ghana living on the streets and in orphanages. From a UNICEF report from March 2021, children living in residential care were more than 3,530 across the country. There are a variety of factors that compel children to live rough. These include situations like the loss of one or both parents, physical and sexual abuse, extreme poverty and illness. To reverse this trend, the founder of Divine Word International Ministries, Bishop Jonathan Timboating, has built ultra-modern orphanage for widows, orphans and other underprivileged persons in society. Called the Divine Privilege Home, it is expected to house over 200 underprivileged people to give hope and offer them relief from their situation. In an interview with GBC News, the AMA Chief Executive, Madam Elizabeth Saki, called for more support for an all-hands-on-deck approach to help the needy. I think that the most important thing is for us all, individuals, churches, members, uh, pastors of churches, should see and adhere to whatever he is doing. And we should be, it should be in collaboration, which I have signed with him that we're going to have that collaboration in that we can help all those little ones to grow up to be citizens of good standing. Bishop Jonathan Tim Watting is the founder of Divine Privilege Home. We provide an executive, a beautiful home that we called a privileged home because most of these children that we're thinking about, they are underprivileged. So we believe that the moment we bring them into our sector, into our facility, they are coming from an underprivileged circumstances into a privileged home. So we have well prepared for them that they will be very comfortable to attend school, to go to colleges, and for them to also to have a shorter life. The Chief Executive Officer of Tobinko Pharmaceuticals Limited, Dr. Samuel Amutobing, urged corporate Ghana and financially able individuals to help take care of the vulnerable across the country. The life patron of Divine Privilege Homes, Otunfo Trafohine Bafo Upokwajimai, pledged to support the project with land. The event was also used as a fundraiser to cushion the initiative. The ceremony also had musical performances from some of Ghana's finest gospel musicians, including Obapa Christie, Great Ampo, and Empress Gifty Singh.